This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at homolytic and heterolytic bond fission. We'll start by looking at homolytic bond fission. In homolytic bond fission, a covalent bond between two atoms in a molecule breaks, with each atom taking one electron from the bond. So here we have two atoms, X and Y, which are bonded by a single covalent bond, which is composed of two electrons. In homolytic bond fission, this bond breaks with each atom taking one electron from the bond. This type of bond fission results in the formation of free radicals or radicals. These are highly reactive species with unpaired electrons. Free radicals are represented by the use of a dot, which we can see here for X and Y. In heterolytic bond fission, a covalent bond between two atoms in a molecule breaks, with one atom taking both bonding electrons. So once again we have two atoms, X and Y, which are bonded by a single covalent bond. In heterolytic bond fission, this bond breaks, with one atom, in this case X, taking both the bonding electrons. This type of bond fission results in the formation of ions. So here we can see that X, being the more electronegative atom, has taken both the bonding electrons and formed a negative ion. Y has formed a positive ion or a cation. And finally, we look at some examples of both types of bond fission. Homolytic bond fission occurs in the free radical substitution reactions of the alkanes. For example, the bond between two chlorine atoms in a molecule of chlorine breaks homolytically with each atom taking one electron from the bond. This produces two chlorine free radicals. Note that this type of bond fission occurs in the presence of UV light. Heterolytic bond fission occurs in the nucleophilic substitution reactions of the halogenoalkanes. So in this reaction, the bond between the carbon and the chlorine atom breaks heterolytically. This results in the formation of a negative chloride ion which is also known as the leaving group. 